U.S. Congresswoman Maxine Waters will deliver the sixth Oliver Tambo Memorial Lecture at the Birchwood Hotel and Conference Center in Akuruleni. This event is hosted by Oliver and Adelaide Tambo Foundation. SABC reporter Mangoba Mkunu is there. Mangoba, good afternoon. A highly anticipated address from a veteran anti-apartheid activist and an Oliver Tambo Award recipient. Well, of course, uh, we do expect uh, that speech to take place at about uh, 7 o'clock this evening. And, of course, uh, I can tell you that uh, preparations are well underway for that event that is expected to take place, of course, at 7 o'clock o'clock as I've told you and uh, of course uh, this is in significance and in celebration of uh, one of the most important people within the ANC one of his uh, longest serving president Oliver Tambo of course we do know that he had uh, led the party from exile where he was sent in the 1960s of course you do recall that uh, the ANC president then at the time who was chief Albert Lutuli having of course sent it uh, haven't sent him to uh, go and be an international diplomat of the ANC. And this is where really he led the party while he was there in exile. We do know, of course, that uh, he was elected as uh, the ANC president at the Morogomo Conference uh, uh, in Tanzania in 1969. And of course, this lecture also comes at a time when the ANC itself it's, has launched a year-long renewal project, of course, in commemoration of uh, the Morogomo uh, Conference that took place there, where issues of renewal were discussed, where, of course, all also, the presidency of uh, Oliver Tambo was reaffirmed during that conference. Of course, his role was immense in the, str in the struggle. He was also involved in the formation of the ANC Youth League and so forth. I mean, there's a lot to say. But, of course, Maxime Waters herself, who's going to deliver the speech, equally also being an activist herself, a political activist, a social justice activist in the United States, and also having been involved in uh, the fight against apartheid while in South Africa, of course, in the 1980s, leading several protests and becoming actively involved in some of those protests. But to talk more about what to expect from the speech, I'm now joined by the CEO of the Oliver and Adelaide Tambo Foundation, who is Zengeziwe Msimang. Zengeziwe, thanks for your time. First of all, let's talk about the significance of this event and having Maxim Water or Congress, uh, Congresswoman Maxim Waters being part of this event. What does it mean? Um, it means the world. I think that in terms of what we're trying to do with this event, uh, we host the annual lecture in order to promote and preserve and protect the legacy of Oliver Tambo. And we go through a very long and arduous pro um, process in order to find the person who would be able to speak on his behalf. And when you look, um, and to honor him, and when you look at um, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, we were so excited when she agreed to do this lecture because she has this amazing history, 40 years of public service, over 40 years of public service. And she's a powerhouse in her own right. But she also um, knew Oliver Tambo. She was uh, instrumental in the anti-apartheid movement. And in the States, she really spearheaded a lot of the Free South Africa movement. So to have her here today, somebody who is able to speak on Oliver Tambo personally, but who is also able to speak about the anti-apartheid movement and um, what it meant and what solidarity really was, you know, with the peoples of the world. So we're really excited to have her here. And I think another thing that was um, exciting for us is that this is the first time that we have an international speaker, um, and it's also the first time that we have a female speaker. Mm -hmm. So this, for us, it's just the perfect time and the, and the um, perfect occasion to celebrate Tambo, the feminist Tambo, the man of integrity Tambo, the strategist, the visionary, the Tambo in all his entirety. And of course, uh, tomorrow he would have turned 102, and uh, it would have been his uh, 102nd uh, birthday. What legacy should people remember from the work that he had done and from his commitment in fighting the struggle? I, I think he used the perfect word, commitment. I think uh, Tambo comes from an era which it is not gone and, and that's the reason the foundation exists because we believe that there are tumbles everywhere walking around. We believe that the values that he espoused, those of integrity, humility, of um, being uh, so self-effacing, we feel that those are the values that we want to pass on and that is how we will ensure that his legacy continues because fundamentally 
he was tenacious. This is somebody who left the country and did not know whether he would ever return. Um, and whether if he did return, he did so in a coffin because there really was um, a, a concerted effort to take him out in those 30 years. And throughout it all, he never gave up. He had that vision and he said, one day we will be free. And he believed that one day we would be, be free. And with people like Maxine Waters, with people from across the world, as well as all of what was happening in the country throughout the 80s, we literally saw that vision realized. And, and that is the very legacy. And as long as we have young people who believe in him and, and believe in themselves, espousing those values, I think his legacy will live forever. Thank you very much, uh, Zengezu Msimang, who is the CEO of the Oliver and Adelaide Tambo Foundation, of course, giving us uh, uh, just a, a brief synopsis of what uh, Oliver Tambo stood for, his values that he stood for. Of course, uh, you do see even behind me, there's a whole setup that has been there, a whole uh, sort of like uh, an exhibition of his life, showing the times and life of Oliver Tambo. Of course, we do expect uh, the speech to take place, as Maxim had uh, indicated earlier on, in about two hours from now. Thank you, Manwaba. The official Johannesburg Pride March.